Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and in today's video I'll be showing you how I've given this desk a makeover for my daughter's room, Jessie. We're going for a bright coloured theme in her room so I thought this desk would be perfect and I'm also using my very own chalk paint recipe in this video too. So let's jump straight in. So this is what we're starting with. It's a very masculine looking desk. It's a good solid desk, but it's had a little bit of wear and tear over the time. It's got a dark brown vinyl top and it's got a lot of surface scratches and dents and dings and things like that over it. So we're gonna hide all that with some nice pretty pictures and some chalk paint. First up, we're gonna remove all the drawers and give a light sand to the front of the drawers with some 220 grit sandpaper just to smooth out any defects and then we're going to give a pop of purple color to the inside of the drawers. So for my chalk paint recipe I use one third of a cup of plaster of Paris one third of a cup of water for every one cup of paint. Now for this project I'll be using two cups of paint so that's why I'm doubling the recipe. So what I like to do is get a separate container and mix my plaster of Paris and water together in that container first till it's all smooth and there's no lumps and then add my quantity of paint to this separate container. So once that's all mixed together smooth we're going to add the paint and the paint colour I'm using is by Taubman's and it's called Grape Popsicle. So I'm going to add two cups of the paint to this container. Such a pretty colour. And that way you're only using the paint that you need and yeah, the rest of it you can still use for another project. Because as soon as you add plaster of Paris to this paint, it's going to go hard over time. So yeah, you only want to mix what you're going to use. So now that that's all mixed together, let's start painting. So I'm just going to paint all the inside of the drawers with this purple colour and all of the outside of the drawers as well. So that when you open the drawers, you get that nice pop of purple. Now I didn't sand any of these drawers inside or out. Uh, I just basically painted the chalk paint straight over it and it went on so smoothly. And as it dried, all the brush strokes disappeared. So yeah, I definitely recommend using chalk paint. It gives it such a nice finish. Uh, so to finish the drawers off, I did two coats and that was quite enough to, um, to coat them completely. So for the rest of the desk, we're going to use chalk paint again, but this time just using white chalk paint. So same recipe uh, and just using regular interior wall paint um, in white for this. So for the top, I did just sand a little bit because it was so scratched and dented. So I did just do a light sand along the top of the desk where the panel sits. But for the rest of it, I just left it as is. So now I'm just painting the outside of the drawers with this white chalk paint and then also the rest of the desk itself is all going to get painted. So this is after one coat. You can see it's not quite covered. All up I used three coats to get the finish result that I was happy with, which is probably normal because you would consider using one base coat and then two top coats. So yeah, I was really, really happy with the, the finish on the chalk paint. And I'm just showing a close-up here of the texture. So it's kind of like a toothpaste texture once it's all mixed together and, um, you know, has had a little bit of time to set. It's, uh, yeah, like a pretty thick paste. And that's why a lot of the brush strokes and everything smooth out quite nicely as it starts to dry. And because you're using chalk paint, you will have a grainy finish to your paint. So if you can see here the close-up, it does have a grainy finish to it. And if you're preferring a more smoother finish, what I would suggest is on your very final coat, get a very fine grit sandpaper and give it a very, very light sand over the top. And that will smooth out your paint. Also, once you've finished painting, I would suggest using some furniture finishing wax. This one I'm using here is a Rust-Oleum. It's very hard to get in Australia, so I had to actually order this one from overseas. 
but any sort of beeswax or furniture finishing wax will do and that will also not only help to protect your paint but it'll also help to smooth your paint out as well so if you're not keen on giving it a sand giving it a good buff with this wax will also help to smooth out the grittiness that is chalk paint so this is the desk all put back together now it's all painted everywhere it needs to be painted and it's all put back together and I'm super impressed with the with the chalk paint it is it's wonderful it's changed my life <laughs> as you guys know my whole house is done in chalk paint now so yeah it's a really really good product and this is a really good comparison of the desk side by side the before and the after the the color that it used to be and now the color that it is so yeah, it definitely covers darker woods very, very well. The insert, I'm just going to remove that vinyl with, um, with a stapler remover and give it a light sand just to smooth out any of the like little indentations from the, the staples and the screws. And what I'm doing here is just going over it with some chalk paint just to give it a white background. Now for all the images, I've just gone onto the internet and looked up watercolour images and just pr pretty much printed off anything of interest to my daughter. So all the sort of things that she's interested in or that the pictures that she liked the look of that were in a watercolour sort of design, we printed them all off and cut them all out and just sort of set them up on the desk where we think, you know, try and puzzle piece them together basically. So this is sort of what we've come up with, how we're going to set them all out on the board. And to stick them all down, I'm using just some regular PVA glue mixed with a little bit of water, just to water it down a little bit so it's not so thick. So you want a little bit runny, uh, not too much, roughly this sort of consistency if you can kind of see. And we're just going to stick all of those images down. Now I recommend putting the glue onto the paper like rather than onto the board itself because as you put the glue onto the paper the fibers in the paper will start to relax and stretch and that will give you less wrinkles when you're attaching it to the board so definitely always put glue onto the paper first and then I'm just using like a credit card just to smooth it out very very gently be careful because with it being wet it'll be very easy to tear so just yeah gently smooth out from the middle to the outer edges and get out any wrinkles as you go so what i've done here is gone along and done all the border pictures first so all the ones around the outside of the frame and then now i'm going to go through and stick on all the middle pieces so this is all of everything stuck down now. All the pictures that she likes and things that she's interested in. And now what I'm going to do, just to help blend in the edges of each picture, I'm just going to dab it with a little bit of acrylic paint. So I've got like a sponge dabber and I've just dipped it in some different coloured acrylic paints and I'm just dabbing around the edges of each picture just to sort of help it blend in a little bit more and not look such a stark edge to each picture. Um, and not necessarily to every picture, just where you think it may need a little bit of, you know, covering up sort of thing. And see, with it all being watercolour, it kind of all blends in. So once all that's dry and all your paint's dry and everything, you're going to go over the top of this with another coat of the PVA glue mix. And you're probably going to put about at least two coats of this on, um, letting it dry in between. I finished off the desk with a few crystal knobs that I bought from eBay for only a couple of dollars and this is the finished result. This was while we were still at our old place um, so it wasn't even in Jessie's bedroom at that stage but yeah it, it ended up looking it does look really nice in her room now and here's a good before and after what it used to look like and what it looks like now and you'll see on my channel I've already given that other desk a makeover for my son's room in a more vintage uh, industrial style for him so I'll link that one below if you're interested in watching that as well and I'll just show you now the pop of purple in the drawers it's quite nice and bright 
So yeah, it was um, definitely using chalk paint is uh, takes a lot of the heartache out of furniture makeovers. I found it's much much easier. And here's the top of the desk now, the insert in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, give it a like and a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.